We already know the new Jeep Gladiator is awesome off-road. It's also one of the best equipped four-wheel drive utes on the market. But what's it like towing an off-road caravan or camper trailer? Let's find out. Jeep's Wrangler based dual cab ute has arrived down under in two high priced variants, a more comfort focused Gladiator Overland and a rock hopping Rubicon model as tested here with an even pricier limited run launch edition also available. Our camo colour test vehicle is also fitted with around $12,000 optional extras including this body coloured three piece hardtop, steel front bumper and these eye catching black alloy wheels. The hardcore Gladiator Rubicon gets the Rock Track Active 4x4 system with super low range gearing and front and rear locking differentials to keep you moving in the roughest terrain. The Gladiator also has a few Wrangler style party tricks like a removable hardtop roof and doors and a folding windscreen so you can really be at one with nature. Inside the cosy but upmarket cabin features push button start, climate control, a 9 speaker Alpine audio an 8.4 inch infotainment screen with smartphone mirroring. The Gladiator's funky interior, including metallic red dash, will be familiar to current Jeep Wrangler owners, and it's enhanced in this particular vehicle by the optional leather heated seats and steering wheel with contrasting red stitching. The dash has plenty of easy to reach switches, and the two digital screens provide plenty of information to the driver but there's not a lot of space overall for mobile phones, drink bottles, or longer legs. Two adults, or three children, will squeeze into the nicely sculpted rear seats, which fold up to reveal hidden storage compartments. More lifestyle than trader youth, the Gladiator at 5.6 metres long has a big footprint and turning circle, making it a handful to manoeuvre at times. Its tow rating of 2.7 tonnes and maximum payload of 620 kilograms is also behind the competition and unlike most of its diesel powered rivals, the Gladiator only comes with a 3.6 litre petrol V6 engine matched to an 8 speed auto. That said, the Gladiator still shapes up as a great getaway vehicle for out of town adventures. So we're towing an off road pop top caravan weighing close to 2 tonnes with the Gladiator and it feels pretty stable thanks to its heavy two tonne plus weight and its longer wheelbase. However, the engine is really lacking in low down torque and tends to rev quite high and it shows with fuel consumption above 20 litres 100 kilometres when towing, even on the highway. But it's pretty quiet overall, apart from the whirring mud tyres and some wind noise. With or without a trailer, the Rubicon handles the off-road bumps better than most with its front and rear Fox shocks and smaller 17-inch alloy wheels with 32-inch BF Goodridge rubber, ideal for heading bush. So it's also a nifty forward-facing off-road camera. Along with a front sway bar disconnect, rock sliders and plenty of underbody armour to help keep you going in the rough stuff. Other towing features on the Gladiator include trailer sway control and an excellent reversing camera to help when hitching up. So while the new Gladiator is a bit disappointing when it comes to towing and carrying a big load, it should get you into the bush further than most chutes and has plenty of tricks and treats to justify the higher price tag. <laughs>